Today I'm going to teach you how to make an Arc Survival Ascended server for free. If you don't want to use a server provider as a solution to your hosting needs, then I'm going to show you in this video basically how to uh, go ahead and just host one off your PC. Now keep in mind you're going to have to need uh, you're going to need a pretty beefy uh, PC to do this if you're going to play on the same computer that you're running the server off of. Uh, it's going to use probably upwards of at most 16 gigabytes of RAM for the server itself alone, let alone the game if you're going to run it off the same machine. So just keep that in mind and uh, you'll also need to, you know, have a pretty good CPU to be able to allocate the amount of cores that the server may need. Uh, but, you know, we'll get into that later on. So the first step is um, make sure you're on Windows. This is a Windows guide. Currently there is no Linux support. So this is really just a guide for how to run a server on Windows and basically how to set up your INI settings and all that. So let's get started. First, uh, head on over to your Google or whatever your web browser search for steam search for steam cmd you're gonna click on this right here the valve developer community uh head on down to download steam cmd for windows click this button and you got your uh you got your thing right here steam cmd.exe you can close out of this let's make a folder here we're gonna call this steam cmd all right go inside the folder we're gonna put this exe into the folder we're going to double click on the exe and it's going to run this. Now you just want to wait for it to basically download all these updates. Um, it's essentially installing the uh, necessary files for Steam CMD to function and it's basically dumping them all into this folder right here. All right. Uh, it might take a second, but once that's done, all you need to do is type log in anonymous just like that a n a or a n o n y m o u s it's going to connect you anonymously to the steam network now uh, what you're going to do is type app underscore update and then you're going to basically look for the uh well, i'm pulling it up right here just because i forgot the id but we're going to use this app id because this is the arc survival send a dedicated server so we're going to do two four three zero nine three zero so app underscore update and then space and then two four three zero nine three zero space validate all right hit enter now it's going to download the server files uh, for asa now i think this is i don't know how big this is let's see but it shouldn't be too much it shouldn't be too large because really the the server files for for asa are not anywhere near as large as the actual game itself. You know, because the server doesn't have to install the, the textures, it doesn't have to install any of the actual, the displays of the game, right? It's just downloading basically the framework for how all of the backend stuff works with the game and the way it's coded and everything, as well as like the network stuff, right? And how it handles servers and players and all that. It's really not so much to download. In fact, if we check Steam CMD right now, it hasn't actually installed yet. It's, as you can see, it's still waiting. So you're gonna see this downloading uh, fill up basically. And um, once that's done, uh, we'll proceed. So I'm just gonna skip the one that's done. All right, so as you can see, it is done now. So once it says success, app 2430930 fully installed, you can just type quit, hit enter, it's gonna close. Now you wanna navigate into the Steam Apps folder inside your Steam CMD folder. You go to common, Arc Survival send a dedicated server, and then shooter game binaries win 64 all right so now once you're in this folder you go to new um, text document and you can just call this uh, start server dot bat for example now make sure that whenever you create this file um, if it says if you change the file name say extension it may be unstable click yes but if it doesn't say that and it's still a text file make sure that you uh, are on view here and then you click on file name extension Make sure that's checked so that you can see the uh, the actual extension. And then if it says .bad.txt at the end, just remove the .txt, then it'll change the file type. All right, now uh, left click, then right click on it, go to edit. All right, and from here, I'm gonna have something in the description and you're just gonna paste this in. So it's gonna be start arc ascended server.exe, the island underscore WP session name. Uh, I'll have something else in here like um, example example name server password you can make this um you know 
Apple, for example, whatever, whatever you want. Alt save directory name. Uh, we're just gonna call this the island. Okay, max players, we can say, let's say 70, just as an example. Server admin password, this is if you want an admin password, you don't have to have one. And in fact, you can get rid of this entire part right here if you don't want an admin password. But um, let's say this is, we'll make this one, two, three. Okay, now you can keep the rest the same. So we're gonna go ahead and just save this and then close out and then double click on this bat file right here. And from here, it's gonna open this little thing right here. Now, if you get this uh, thing right here, make sure you, you, I don't, to be honest, I'm on it, I'm like no expert, but I usually just check both of these uh, just to allow the ports, just to allow firewall to not freak out. So I would just check both of these and then click allow access. Now I could be totally mistaken. I don't think it really matters in this case, but yeah, you know, I just click that and then it's like, great. Okay, we're done. So now we've launched the ASA server and it's, uh, I don't know if it's up yet. I think it's starting up. If I check my task manager, uh, 21 gigabytes of my 32 in this PC are being used. <laughs> so, and, and if I had to guess, I'd have to say that that is probably largely due to the ASA server. Yeah, ASA is taking about 10 gigabytes right now. So there you go. Um, I think it may be up right now, full startup it says. So we'll go ahead and check and see if we can join the server. So I'm gonna show you how to actually join the server now that you've started it up. And this is gonna be for how to join it locally. So. I'm gonna click uh, start, go to unofficial. We're gonna have check password protect, show password protected on, because if you recall the uh, the bat file we used, wrong one. We set the password in the command line. We have question mark server password equals Apple. Uh, now we didn't use quotations for this, so that may be a problem, but um, we'll see. So the server name itself, we called it example name. All right, now as you can see, I searched for it and it's here on the unofficial server list. Now, if you don't see it, chances are you have one of these options selected that's gonna mess with it, right? So you're filtering out. Um, make sure you've got the right filters on that aren't going to hide this and make sure you've got, you know, for example, if I don't have this checked, it's not gonna show it because it does have a password. So now I'm gonna click join. I'm gonna type, I'm gonna type in password, which I believe was um, Apple, right? So we'll type Apple and we'll join the server. Now, uh, it's very important to mention, to keep in mind that right now this server is being hosted off um, my machine. I'm not port forwarded on my router. And so what that means is that even though firewall may allow people to uh, join, my router is not allowing people to join right now. Um, because the way that routers work, right, which is basically your network, uh, box for your home, more or less. That's a grossly simplified way to put it. Um, but the way that it works is, you know, it accepts certain protocols or, or ports, um, certain ports from the internet, um, both in and out. And by default, video game server ports are not always opened. Generally, they're, they're, they have to be opened deliberately. And so we can talk about port forwarding in just a second, but just to show you that we're on the server, no, I'm not the one you've been waiting. Please skip. Okay. So here we are in game. And as you can see, we're on the server. If we press escape, we see example name. So this is the server that's running off my machine. And now if we go to RAM, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, you're going to need at least 32 gigs uh, or more to be running the game and a server at the same time. This is extremely taxing on my PC. And let alone, I mean, the fact that I'm also recording at the same time, it, probably not the best idea. So um, I would not recommend this, but uh, there you go. So that's how we join the server. And then, you know, if we wanted to enable admin commands, we have set up a thing in the, right? We have the server admin password. All right, so if you're, if you're gonna use admin commands, you can type enable cheats space in the console and then one, two, three, which is the password we set. Now, if we type in chat, we have a, oh, or not. Cheat, do you see it? Oh, okay. I guess it just didn't show the star for some reason, but I do have cheat mode on, right? So now I've just entered GCM and, and you know, if you're familiar with commands, this is, uh, may or may not be useful to you. Um, if you're a dirty cheater, I'm looking at you. Um, but regardless, uh, you know, whatever you need to use it for, that's 
that's just one of the few I and I commands that they've managed to add into ASA. Uh, which uh, is surprising because most of them are actually missing from ASE. So that's how you, you know, set up and join the server and everything. Now let's talk a little bit about poor forwarding. Oh, and also I should mention that to close the server, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, if you just click on this X button, it's pretty much just going to save and close itself. Generally, it should save and everything should be fine. That's how it worked in ASE. Um, but if you want to be extra safe, if you have enabled cheats on, you can type uh, cheat space save world and then cheat space do exit. Uh, do exit, it's like just one word, and that'll just force it to shut down. But okay, let's talk about port forwarding now. So more or less, I'm just gonna really br quickly break this down. So port forwarding um, is basically the process of opening up uh, some specific ports on your router, right? And so let's say this is, this is the internet, all right? We'll put a giant I on it, okay? And when, and let's say this is your router, okay? So generally, if you have internet, you probably have a router in your house. Uh, if you don't, you have a pretty unique, maybe mildly unique situation. Um, and you really shouldn't be hosting a server in the first place if you don't <laughs> have a router, you can't really do that uh, generally. But let's say this is your router. Now when the internet, right, which let's say has some arc players. So you got, you got an arc player right here. Um, they try and join, and let's say, you know, you got your arc server here, right? as all right this is your arc server um it's going to it's connected to you know it's running on your pc and it's going to the router and it's saying okay so if firewall is permitting it which is what we kind of allowed earlier when we first ran the server then it's going to say all right so we're running on these specific ports in the example i used in the batch file we use 7777 and 27015 right but then when someone tries to join which they need to join basically using the ports that you, you that you set up. Um, if the router does not want to let them in, it can say, nope, you're blocked. Okay, you're not coming in, right? Um, and that's obviously a problem. So everyone has generally different routers and you're gonna have to look up, you're gonna have to figure out what your router is and then um, look up how to port forward on it, right? And then you just want to port forward the ports uh, 777. This should be a UDP port. Right, and then also port forward uh, 27015, for example, uh, which I believe is TCP. And, uh, you know, I'm not showing you how to do this on mine because I, I don't even know how to do, <laughs> do it on mine at this point. Mine is, uh, I, I've changed routers and I don't even run servers off my own, um, from my own place anymore. Used to do that a lot uh, when I was younger, but not anymore. So once you've figured out how to port forward and you've confirmed that it's working, from there you can basically, um, people should be able to join your server. Right now, because I'm not port forwarded, no one can actually join my server from outside the internet or from, you know, on the internet. Uh, if, the, if it was over land, they could join. Now, the last thing we should talk about is um, basically how to configure your server, right? Because if you've done, done everything right so far and you've port forwarded and you've got that sorted out, you might be wondering, okay, how do I configure the server? So let's talk a little bit about that. So if you head back to this shooter game folder, which again is in Steam CMD, Steam Apps, Common Arc, Dedicated Server, Shooter Game, head on over to uh, this saved folder and then go into config and Windows Server. Now, there's a glaring issue currently with ASA, which is that a lot of the INI, uh, essentially INI parameters, right, that Arc Survival Evolved used, a lot of these parameters uh, don't really exist anymore in ASA, or they were changed or something weird happened, right? So if you go to the, the official wiki, you can actually see some of these that have been tested. And some of them just, a lot of them have like an X or a question mark next to them. A lot of these parameters, as you can see, don't <laughs> work. Like either they haven't been tested or straight up just, yeah, and, and, and that's a problem, right? And and what, what are parameters you might be asking? Well, these are things like, you know, oh, allow anyone baby imprint cuddle. Specific settings, things that allow you to tailor how your server works, right? Some of these, uh, a good chunk of them just are not found in ASA, do not function, and it's not very clear why some of them do or do not work. Um, probably they just ran out of time, and I'm hoping that they really sort of kick into action here and, and get those in game, because there's a lot of them that are missing, especially pretty important ones like whitelist and so on. Um, but some of the basic ones you can use, for example, are, you know, uh, harvest amount multiplier, right? And so 
you want to go to this uh, official wiki page, I'll link it in the description, right? And then find the, specifically, you know, well, uh, in this example, let's use the game user settings.ini. So that's going to be, let's see, are we in that? Harvest amount. Of yep. So we can see same, see same option in game user settings.ini. So harvest amount multiplier. This goes in the uh, game user settings I and I. So we're going to open that back up. Um, we're going to open this up here. And then we're going to hit enter, create a new line. This is going to go under the server settings uh, sort of category specifically. Some things go under different categories, so just keep that in mind. Um, just make sure you got the right thing in the right in the right file, in the right category. But then we do harvest amount equals, and you know, on the wiki it says default value equals one. Value type is a float. Right, which means that it's basically like a, you know, 1.0, 2.0, 3, 4, etc., 34. Um, right, so we can set this to like 100, and then save it, and that means that the harvest multiplier is now 100 on the server. Now, um, not all commands, like I said, go in game user settings ini, and not all of them go in game .ini, um, but some of them, of course, do. So, for example, some of those might be, um, let's see, baby mature speed multiplier. All right, so this one, as you can see, it goes in the game.ini. So I'm gonna copy this one. And game.ini doesn't even, for some reason, it's not even created uh, when the server runs anymore. I'm not really sure why that is. So I guess we're gonna have to make our own. I'm gonna open this. And with the game.ini, you'll notice that we don't have a bra uh, like a category here. So we need to make sure that we add this right here. So this is gonna essentially clarify what this settings, I don't know, it clarifies the thing. All the following options can only be set in the, so it's setting it in this game mode or whatever, right? So just include that on the first line. And then baby mature speed multiplier equals, and then let's say 100, right? So that means the babies are gonna mature at 100 times the speed. So that's the basic idea of how to do it. And if, that, if I explain that too fast, I do apologize. Um, this is fairly common knowledge for you know, for myself and a lot of other people who set up servers. Um, and there's other ways of going about setting up servers, like there's server um, uh, managers and stuff, um, but not a lot of those tools exist yet for ASA. And so I'm just used to doing it kind of this raw, kind of, you know, bare bones way. And it's not too hard really. So that's pretty much how you configure your server. Um, and just keep in mind that uh, changing settings while the server is actually online, um, if you close the server, it's even if you save the file after you change it, it, closing the server actually writes to the file the same thing that it started with when it launched, I believe, um, unless they fix that. So just be mindful of that. Don't change your settings until you've actually shut down the server because it'll straight up like delete what you actually change once you do shut it down. Um, so just keep that in mind. But otherwise, that's pretty much it for how to set up your server. If you found this guide useful, uh, click the like button below, share it around to your friends, uh, anyone who may find this useful. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Happy to uh, share my own expertise and comments and, and all that. If you'd like to, instead of setting up your server, play on one, uh, you can actually join the cluster that I run for ASA now called United Republic of Arc. It is gated and it is only for patrons and YouTube members. So keep that in mind. But if you want to come join us, I'll leave a link in the description below to the Discord. Come pop in. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.